AMT. Innovating. Educating. Changing lives. For an initial G-tube to GJ conversion, what I first attempt on a small child or infant will be just to preload the gastrogegenostomy tube with a Benson guide wire with the floppy tip coming out of the, the tip of the catheter. Then I will just put that through the gastrostomy stoma and try to direct it across the pylorus. I will repeatedly advance the guide wire a few centimeters past the tip in an attempt to cross the pylorus into the proximal small bowel. That works most of the time. If that doesn't work, then what I'll do is get a directional catheter, which is what I did in this case. I was having trouble crossing the pylorus with the tube itself, so I will use a directional catheter. In this situation, I used a Berenstein. You could also use a Cumpy or a JB1, whatever you're comfortable with. With that, I can direct the guide wire a little bit better and get across the pylorus into the small bowel. In this situation, because our patient actually had malrotation, instead of the normal C-loop that you would see on a patient with normal duodenal anatomy, her small bowel went inferior and then stayed to the right side of the abdomen. To confirm that I was still in a good position, I actually injected contrast through the catheter so I would know which way I needed to go with my guide wire and gastrogegenostomy tube. I don't always have to inject contrast during the placement, only when I'm ready to confirm placement because if a patient has normal anatomy, you're pretty sure where the gastroduodenal junction is. In her situation, we used some contrast as a roadmap, and that helped make sure we had the tube in a good position. Then after I get the guide wire in the right place, then I can remove that catheter over the guide wire, and with the guide wire in place, I can advance the gastrogegenostomy tube over the guide wire to position into the proximal small bowel. Then I'll inflate the balloon. And then finally, I'll inject contrast through the jejunostomy port to confirm appropriate position in the proximal jejunum. Thank you for watching.